Hi, it's you guys. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Monique and I make content on home decor, home improvement, and DIY with a sprinkle of luxury and lifestyle. So if you're interested in content like that, please consider subscribing down below. Okay, so today I'm going to finally decorate my tree, my second tree. And I've been so excited to decorate this tree. I did fluff and check the lights on this tree last night. And that's something that I forgot to mention in my previous video about how to make a sparse tree look thicker. Make sure you fluff the tree out. I forgot to mention that. But I got this tree a couple years ago. And for the past couple years, I've been using these beautiful black and white ornaments that I got for Hobby Lobby. And I'm gonna use them again this year. That's the thing, that's the reason why I don't make YouTube videos consistently because in YouTube world, you have to change everything. And financially, I cannot do that. And I don't wanna do that because I buy things that I like. So I'm gonna to continue to use these black and white ornaments, but I'm going to switch it up a little bit. That's the reason why I'm filming this video. Um, but yeah, I love those black and white ornaments. In fact, I love all of the black and white ornaments that were on this tree. I have so many pretty ornaments. So I'm probably going to be working with these for a long time. And I'll spice it up here and there. Like these beautiful pearl. This one, these beautiful pearl ornaments. I think I got these from big lots a long time ago this is when i had like a blushing rose gold tree but i always thought they were really pretty um these pretty sweater ornaments i think i got these from um hobby lobby too i got a lot of ornaments from hobby lobby my daughter picked out these furry um ornaments it's like p for her name and then it's like this little furry monster that's so cute um yeah, I just have a lot of pretty ornaments on this tree. So I'm probably going to use these ornaments for a long time. But usually I mix in cheetah print. I'm not using the cheetah print this year. i kind of tired of the neutral colors. And I really wanted some, a bright color in my life. So I've decided to add this pop of color to my sitting room actually i'm still waiting on the pillows to come in but i'm going to add it to my tree and i'm so excited i'm adding in this beautiful fuchsia color so pretty um so yeah and i'm not just going to add in the fuchsia ornaments like mixed in with the black and white i actually want to try out the color block Christmas tree. I don't know if you've seen those on um, like Instagram or social media, TikTok, whatever. I'll post some pictures, but I love this tree where it's like just the color in one space of the tree and then the rest of the tree is some other color. I love that. So I wanna try to recreate that on my Christmas tree with the fuchsia. So I'm gonna have like a, a fuchsia river. I think that's gonna be so pretty. At first, I was concerned that I wasn't going to have enough ornaments because every video I see, they use so many ornaments. But luckily, I got some baby dogs <laughs> who chewed up some of my pink ornaments out of all the ornaments. Um, and that caused me to go search for some more. And I ended up finding this really good deal, which I wish I would have known this before, this really good deal at Bed Bath & Beyond. They had a 50% off, plus you were able to use their 25% um, Black Friday coupon. So I ended up getting 48, because I got two boxes of these, of these ornaments for $7.50. You cannot beat that. Meanwhile, I spent... $13 for these little bitty ornaments. I'm so mad about that. I did not know they were going to be this small. I ordered these off of Amazon as well as these, um, I guess these are like the 3.5 inch ornaments. I got 24 
of each of these and I ordered them off Amazon. I wish I would have known about the Bed Bath & Beyond sale prior to that. Um, but I did order a lot of these ornaments off of Amazon because I don't know, I don't think this is like a easy color to find in the store. Um, well, I don't know, I've been to Hobby Lobby, at home, and I went to Walmart the other day. They had a few um, ornaments this color, but not a lot. So I just had to order them offline, but I got these off of Amazon as well. I got four of these large ornaments. Um, yeah, and I'm going to mix this pretty um, iridescent ornament in with the, with the fuchsia ornament. I got these um, ornaments like this last year for my boyfriend's tree when I did the black tree just to add like, you know, some dimension to the black. Um, and I thought they were so pretty and I thought they would go really well with the fuchsia rudeness. Um, but yeah, um, so if you could just imagine, look at that, that colorway. I think that's so pretty. So, okay, so, okay, so I have this fuchsia ribbon and I'm going to go in and I don't know how I'm going to do the ribbon, but I'll play with it and just stick this in kind of along the path that I want the, I don't know what it's called. I'm going to call it a fuchsia river to go in. So. I do want to save some of this fuchsia ribbon because I'm hoping to find like a large reindeer that I can put by the fireplace and I want to make it a little fuchsia bowl. Okay, so I did add some fuchsia ribbon going along this side. And I also added some black and white ribbon to the other areas. So it's coming together. I think it looks pretty already. Um, but you know what I forgot? I forgot these things. Like I don't, should I add this to the tree this year? Okay, so this is where we are so far. Um, I did decide to add the uh, white fur. I think that's going to help when I put the fuchsia in to make the fuchsia really pop. I'm going to do the tree topper now because I learned my lesson from the other tree. <laughs> Not to wait until I put the ornaments on to do the tree topper, so I'm going to do that now. So I actually ended up changing the tree topper and you'll see that later on in the video but that was doing a little bit too much for me. But at this point I'm just going to add in my ornament clusters and I did this with, um, using different sizes of fuchsia ornaments and I just strung them along a pipe cleaner and created my little ornament river whatever you want to call it and I sporadically added in the large future ornaments and the um, iridescent ornaments and to be honest I wasn't really feeling the color of the pink ribbon so I'm glad that the fuchsia ornaments covered up the majority of the ribbon And because I needed more fuchsia ornaments, I ended up taking out the ribbon that I put, the fuchsia ribbon that I put on the side of the tree. And I just have one um, fuchsia river um, because honestly, all of those ornaments still wasn't enough. So hopefully I can build up on my collection next year. I mean, 
the treetop or I like this much better it's not as busy I feel like the fuchsia river was busy enough and it needed to be the center of the attention but yes this is how the tree turned out I absolutely love it I think it's so pretty let me know down in the comments below if you have put your Christmas tree up yet and if so what color scheme are you using this year until next time peace out